Every two years, the world stops and says, how are we projecting the future of our profession in its relationship to the world? We're trying to present the laboratory for the future of urbanism, but also the kind of work that we are doing on cities, data and design, community engagement and experts, as being experiments towards a better future of cities. Housing is much more than the obvious. It can play different kinds of roles. We picked a problem that actually helped define a typology that we could use many places. I thought architecture had to have color, more color, more vibration. I was very interested in architecture always, but after World War II, it became very boring. I discovered Salomonic columns and arches and domes. My work is it's making fun of architecture, especially of old architecture. Before, nobody would have built this. Now maybe they would build it. created an installation that we call Counterbalance that is essentially what we think of as a collective furnishing. We wanted something that people were immediately drawn to and that they wanted to touch and that they wanted to interact with. And we were introduced by the ECC to the fabricators here in Italy. They helped us find a regional material. And that's something we're thinking about in all of our projects. Where are materials being sourced? How are they moving? To get to the site, how do we emphasize minimizing waste? The name of our exhibition is Essential Homes Research Project. It's aimed at starting the debate over temporality in settlements, in the case for humanitarian and other type of, of crises. We aim to provide a solution that is more permanent, more durable, that protects inhabitants with a low CO2 emissions with an affordable solution. The Essential Homes Research Project is located at Giardini della Marina Ressa. We have a room at Palazzo Mora in which we also depict the context. We research photographic uh, representations of different approaches to essential homes. With We have also supporting drawings, physical model samples of the material we've been using, and also big images of how can it be used for communities. I think it's crucial that you imagine for who you are designing and for who you're making a home. We should also think much more in a collective way. It's not just a single home, it's also the collective of many homes together. I could learn a lot from other countries, how they do their affordable housing. Venice is extremely important where we meet. It's important to show it to the audience, to come up with ideas, to give politicians or developers ideas, give them inspiration. But it's also very much for the architecture community ourselves that we inspire each other and that we learn from each other. So all come to Venice, to the European Cultural Center. There's an enormous amount of exhibitions and it gives you a lot of inspiration. Biennales are a cross-section of the future. Venice is the primary place for architects to come together to have discussions, debate and deliberation. It's really worthwhile, honestly, because a lot of smart people come here. People one knows in the whole world, they're here wanting to see the work. It's a place where people meet and enjoy each other.